hope you all are doing well so here we'll be uh, i'm here back with another question for you all from the lead code right so i'll be helping you out like how you can solve this complete question uh, from the lead code okay before starting with anything first of all i would let you all know that uh, i took this question from the lead code platform okay um so you can also visit our lead code platform and check out this question from there right and uh, apart from that uh, you can just write the solution of this question either onto your lead code profiles or lead code ides or you can just use any ide of your own choice to write the answer for this uh, complete program fine and here with this just this just it's the video is not about that term um, how you can just copy this code right so it's all about that how you can learn about building up your logics right how those things can be done in completely how you can understand the programs try understanding all of those things onto your own so everything right this is what is the main motive of these videos right so uh, i just get started over here with this and better not copy out the whole code try to understand it from your own end also like how is this code getting executed what's the method and everything right so let's get started up here everyone so we are having an array of integers nums which are sorted in a non decreasing order okay we have to find the starting and the ending positions of a given target value okay if the target is not found in the array in that case we returning minus 1 comma minus 1 okay fine we the program is pretty simple we just have to have an array of integers into which the numbers will be sorted in the round non decreasing order right from the starting to the ending positions of a given target value we just have to return if the target value which we have to find if that is not found in the array we returning minus 1 comma minus 1 okay now in that respective case we have to write an algorithm with big o of log n run time complexity okay done now example over here says that we are we have taken input which is nums that will be equal to 5 7 7 8 8 one 10 okay 8 8 10 target is my 8 right so in that case output is going to be 3 comma 4 next we will we have to have an example second again we are having a few values and into that we have to write written a target which is 6 right but we didn't got 6 into our complete list so do finally the output is minus 1 comma minus 1 that's it right now this is how we just have to write the whole program for and about right let's get started up here guys so first of all i'll be making up a class that is my solution class solution okay i'll be making def search range in the bracket self okay s will be small for self self comma i'll be having the nums of list of integer comma i'll be using a target putting a colon and we'll be having the integer for that right and this will all will be in the format of integer int sorry uh that will be in the list format and inside the list will be having the int that is your integers right fine okay sorry just removing this colon fine now moving next over here we'll be starting like how to write the whole program right i'll be making a function that is our search function okay that what this function will help me to do this function will first of all help me to just uh, search out a respective value so let's say i took two variables l comma h okay and uh, l will be as 0 and h i'm going to assign the length of my nums two things we are having up right okay starting with my while condition while l is less than h okay while l is less than h we do have a middle value to work with so mid is equal to in the bracket i will just write l plus h divided by 2 so what it will help me to get it will it will actually help me to get the middle value okay now once we are having the middle value i'll just try to check which side our target is present right so i'm writing if nums 
in the bracket of mid is less than x okay if nums mid less than x in that case i would just write l is equal to mid plus 1 till the time the value for my middle value is less than x in that case i would just simply write the l will be mid plus 1 otherwise moving with my else condition i would just write up over here that i will now i would just now go towards the high value high is equal to h is equal to mid and coming out of all these things i will just returning over here look l l as my respective variable now moving next over here i will just come out of my function once right yeah coming out of my function i'll take the l and for that l i'm gonna call in my search function which we have right away made l is equal to search and i'll just put in a target similarly i'll do it for h also i'll be calling my search function right but here i would just do the target minus one so it will be target this uh, inside will be plus one and outside we will do minus one like that right okay once you can now i'll be applying my few if conditions again so if the value for l is less than equal to h if the value for l is less than equal to h in that case i am going to return l comma h okay in that case i'll return l comma h and here i would just simply write return in the bracket of minus one comma minus one that's it what we have up over here right so see this program was again a pretty simple program right what did you had to write up over here you just simply needed to take the values okay you just simply needed to take the value from the integer integer values you have to take it in the format of an array right and here you just had to declare up a class right see now if you're using lead code the class and functions will already be declared also right you just have to start writing the whole program right so here for the solution class we just just wrote class solution made my function with the search range and a search two kinds of function we are having right now just when i wrote dev search in the bracket x right this is one function that is with the passing of the parameters i made it right we're having a value for l low and high h which will be equal to the zero so even l value is zero and the value for h is length of a whole nums which you will be having up into our array or maybe list whatever you say okay now applied my conditions that till the time the value for low is less than high i would find the middle value and then for the middle value, I would check that is the middle value less than my target value or greater than my target value, right? So if it would be less than the target value, I would try to add uh, more into my mid value. And if in case it is less than the target, if in case it is less than the middle value, so I would assign that to the h parameter, right? Now, here after that we'll be just simply using out our h uh, l and h variables for calling my search search functions for the target for the target plus one and here if we are will be having if l is less than equal to h in that case we're just returning l comma h and i would return minus one comma minus one right so guys this is how this whole program will be solved in for you this is the method that how you can actually solve this complete program with a just a very simple method of uh, taking the inputs and just simply the conditions, right? So when you just look to the question that, uh, like what's the question all about, that might seem a little bit, um, I would say kind of difficult for you to solve in. But trust me, once you are gonna solve these all questions into the real, you're gonna use your brains, uh, use a notebook and a pen for solving all these questions, these will not at all look tough to you at all, right? So guys, that is what we are having up that every time you have to see what is the question all about, right? You just cannot see the length of the question and declare that it's easy or it's a difficult question, right? So every time guys, make sure that you are trying to read what is the question all about, right? What uh, what techniques of Python programming language will be used for? Because these are all the things which you have already studied. It's just that 
how you will be implementing those into a real question that is what exactly makes up the things over here right so i just hope everyone is pretty clear with 